region action. It's the Boise State Broncos, two-time champions of the Big Sky Conference against the perennial champions of the Metro Conference, the Cardinals of Louisville. Take a look at the brackets out here in Sacramento. This afternoon, Virginia and Arizona advance. That will be a terrific matchup on Sunday. Coming up a little bit later, Minnesota taking on Southern Illinois. Hi, everybody. Dave Sims and Larry Farmer with you. Great to have you with us for our game tonight as we start our evening doubleheader. We hope to have a terrific battle of the big men. John Coker for Boise State's a guy that has a lot of blocked shots, and he's very key for the Broncos. Well, John Coker's blocked 77 shots, and he's obviously influenced or changed a lot more. He's an excellent free throw shooter, presents a great target to pass to on offense, and has a very, very nice touch. Coker at almost 18 points a game. He'll be going against Cliff Rozier, who's one of the finalists for the Basketball Writers Association Player of the Year. Rozier, of course, everybody knows him, the transfer from North Carolina. And two-time Metro Athletic Conference Player of the Year. He's very good without the basketball. He's an excellent passer for center. He's got a soft touch, and at times will step all the way back to 12 feet to extend the defense and shoot the outside shot. Should be one heck of a matchup tonight. The very athletic Cardinals of Louisville. And let's take a look at our starting lineups for tonight's game for the Boise State Broncos. We'll have Shambrick Williams and Eric Bellamy at the forwards. John Coker at center. And the backcourt of Steve Shepard and Damon Archibald. For Louisville, a team that has won 26 of 31 games up front. They'll have Dwayne Morton and Jason Osborne. Clifford Rozier in the middle. Greg Miner and Dewan Wheat in the backcourt. And there's a look at the Cardinals. Bobby Dye, the coach in his 11th year for the Broncos. He's the four-time Big Sky Coach of the Year, most successful coach in Boise State history. And he's being opposed by Denny Crum going into the Basketball Hall of Fame coming up on May 9th. One of two national championships, one in 1981 and 1986. Great numbers for Denny Crum, the former assistant coach at UCLA. Here's Boise State's road to this first round matchup. 17 and 12 record, fourth tourney appearance in the second straight. And they defeated Idaho State to get here. The nice official. Gene Monjay, Tim Hutchison, and Terry Moore. And how about the new look, Larry Farmer? Yesterday at the shoot-around, <laughs> we're told that they cut their own hair. Talking about the Louisville Cardinal. Well, I don't know who's the team captain who might have come up with that suggestion, but that might have been the one that I might have mutinied on. <laughs> Larry said, the rest of you fellas get your hair. I don't look handsome enough to come in looking any other way than I do now. I can be with the in crowd. <laughs> coming out in a very aggressive man-to-man -man defense. It's knocked away. Boise State takes over. Sam Brick Williams coming from the help side to deflect that pass away. That's very good rotation defending that long pass over the top. Coker up top. Damon Archibald. Steve Shepard. Fabulous year for the freshman. From Bolton, Washington. Eric Bellamy. Shot clock, you bet, going down, and the freshman gets in, scores Steve Shepard, and the Broncos make the Cardinals 2 nothing. Nice ball movement, good read of the defense by Steve Shepard to curl on that screen, read himself up, and got the nice easy layup. Dwayne Morton had some trouble. Almost a five-second call that time. Boy, he's really come out and they, they turned up the defense. I mean, from, from the tip, they're really aggressive. They're animated. They've got their hands on the ball. Shot clock at 10 for the Cardinals. Dwayne Morton pops up. Runs here inside. Flips it up. Tips it in. 2-0. Check that 2-2. 2-2. Our score early going here at Arco Arena. Louisville at times will go to a motion and leave Rozier inside all by himself and if run it, they empty out the weak side and look to throw over the top. Back, back door, Shepard. Very deliberate pace, good defense by Louisville. They try to 
it too fast. Five seconds and they turned it over. <laughs> thought David Archibald was going to shoot that shot that time. By Osborne, no good. Gets his own rebound. He's inside and he'll shoot a couple at the free throw line. And there's a pass over the top to Rozier. Gathers himself, really stays with the ball. He knows exactly where that shot that he took is going to come off, and then softly tips the ball back. You get a rebound, and you get the score on that. Great way to pad your steps. Fouls on Bellamy, his first. Kentucky Central High School Sports Administration major. Had a good year, second team all Metro. And here comes the pressure from Louisville. Four, two Cardinals. Two, two, one zone press. It's something that Denny Crum has had in his arsenal, and he's really made famous. Something that he learned from Coach Wooden in his days as an assistant there. They haven't used the 2 one press that much this year. And how about Louisville? And it's going to be Cardinals ball. Jason Osborne knocked it off of number four, Damon Archibald. Danny Crum can play that press at three different speeds. He can use it to slow the ball game down, use it to speed it up and create havoc, or just to take some time off the clock and give you a different look. Good pressure by Boise State. It'll stay at this end, though. Eric Bellamy on the floor. Louisville Cardinals, 26 and 5 this year. Boise State, 17 and 12. And some scores rolling in. Georgetown down early against Illinois. Duke up big. Not a surprise. Had to change the shot. Loose ball. Louisville's got it. Foul on Damon Archibald. Louisville really having its way on the offensive boards. The four points that they've scored so far in this half have all been a result of offensive rebounding, and they'll be shooting free throws off the third offensive rebound. Here's Jason Osborne. It's a male high school in Louisville. Denny Crum. Well, Denny Crum didn't go along with the pack. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Larry Gay, Jerry Jones, Scooter McCray not having any of this. Cardinals lead it by three. And that's how you attack the press. You take your time, you move the ball around, try and center it in the middle. You have the chance to break. You take it. If not, Get the ball, beat the 10-second count, set up your offense. You get it to Coker. He faces up. He's got 10 seconds on the shot clock. Shepard. Jason Osborne sent it back. Well, again, when you give up dribble penetration, you have to have people rotate over to take away the driving lanes. Osborne coming across and making a nice play on the basketball. Resounding black. So having a question now about the shot clock. There's four seconds left. They're going to put it at five. Looks like they're going to reset to five. Gene Manje over settling things. You know, that second might not seem like a long time, but in setting up a play, and getting the ball inbounds and having one or two options at your disposal offensively, that one second can make a big difference. See how Boise State handles it. Broncos down 5-2. Three's in the air and good by Shimbrick Williams. And he's a good three-point shooter, 44% on the season. We're tied at five. Boise State going to a matchup zone now, shifting the defense, is changing, trying to keep Louisville off balance. A foul on the play against Archibald. Second foul on David. 
Bobby Dye in his 11th year. Profile of the Cardinals, another outstanding year. 24th tournament appearance, third straight. And of course, the two championships, one against UCLA, one against Duke. Greg Lords is in the game number three for Boise State. Back door is successful. Jason Osborne finishes that play. Beautiful play out of the high post offense, a 2-3 set. Ford broke out as if received a pass. Backdoor, beautifully executed, and the pass to finish the play. Greg Lawrence in trouble. Backdoor, Shepard wins a couple extra steps. And he's called for the charge. Fifteen forty-five to go, and here's how you do the lob. Louisville up by two. Sure. You can enjoy the weather we're having right here in Sacramento, outside the Orco Arena. And right now, Louisville with a two-point lead over Boise State. Great tribute to Boise State getting here to the NCAA tournament as the fifth seed in the Big Sky Conference. They knocked off the fourth seed, the first seed, and the second seed to get here. Wayne Morton. One week. Good uptake by Osborne. Line drive is good. You catch a player in the zone defense like Boise State is playing right now, closing out because of ball rotation. You can get him moving out quickly and influence him by a ball fake, pump fake, or a pass fake. Generally speaking, you can go around and create a nice opening for yourself. Shirt over. Weech got it. Set up Osborne. Back to Weed. Cross court action. Wayne Morton lets fly. And that's the first defensive rebound of the game. Well, as animated as Boise State has been, both in their man and zone defenses, you must finish off your defense by rebounding. Making sure you box out and attack that defensive board. Rozier, home run ball, Weed, a little bit too long, but he saves it. Nice play. Wait, baseline, too strong. And Steve Shepard gets the rebound. Great Lords. Bernard Walker in the game, number 22. Nice cut to the basket. And a miss by Williams. Oh. Rozier didn't get it, but he influenced it. And that's where a shot blocker really comes in handy. Don't always have to block shots. Just influence or change. Coker gives it up. Nicely done to Bernard Walker. And they just beat the shot clock. Rozier made a terrific defensive play, but the loose ball occurred. And Boise State comes away with the deuce. And Coker and Rozier both have to take advantage of the other player's ability to block shots. They will both come off their man or each other and try and block or chain shots. Wish it free. Coker or Rozier off to pack it off at the board. Rozier plays off the body. Shepard Williams is a point. Louisville by four. First meeting between those two schools. And a little bump there by number 50, Dwayne Morton. Good, good for Rozier working without the basketball. Gives a nice target. Really does a good job of holding off the defense, not allowing the defensive player to get around him to deny the pass. First foul on Dwayne Morton. And number 35 comes in for Boise State, J.D. Huleen. Freshman from Redwood, make that Redmond, Washington. 6'8 freshman. The Louisville man-to-man -man defense, as you'll notice, is not as aggressive as the brand of Boise State's playing. Louisville will play more of a position defense. Rozier and the turnover picked up by Tick Rogers. Six turnover by Bo Boise State. Rogers right to the pass and will walk the floor. Offensive foul. Nice job hanging in there by Huleen. Second Louisville turnover. Tick Rogers 
saying that he had an open path to the basket, but it does not. J.D. Hulene comes over just like you should, and good team defense denies the path to the basket and takes the charge. Over with the trap. And get it to Coke. Fade is missed, and Louisville breaks out. Here's Dick Rogers. Good ball movement. Osborne, they kick it out to Greg Miner. A little long, and a rebound to Steve Shepard. And attacking a zone defense like that, you want to get some touches on the basketball, make the zone defense work to create some driving opportunities or some opportunities to get the ball inside. Hulene being harassed by Greg Miner. Got the coaches around the league that have, around the country that have faced Louisville. They cannot say enough about the starting five of the Cardinals. Shot clock to seven. Shepard's got to make something happen and get it to Coker. High off the glass, rebound to Osborne. Coker really hesitant that time to take that shot. Rose yeah. here is in there. Did a nice job to avoid contact. He's got six points, and the Cardinals lead by six. 13 points for Louisville, all coming from their front line. They're getting the ball inside, and they're taking advantage of their size and strength. Biggest lead of this ball game for the Cardinals. Amber Williams going to the forward test to bring it up against pressure. Hugh Lean gets a free look. Nice job by Hugh Lean. Just his fifth three-pointer of the season. Boise State back to within three. Good job on the hedge by Coker. Got just a little bit of uh, Rozier to deny him an opportunity at that pass. And Coker will get around in front. I've seen him do that many times when he's played. And that makes it so very difficult to get the ball inside to him. Lova leads by three at 10.39 last. We'll be back to Arco Arena in a moment. Season at Boise State, class of 62 from Idaho State. A fundamental teacher of the game, has invoked many different styles of play, depending upon the talent that he's had. He's taught up-tempo, he's taught slow-down, but he's able to get his kids to play it all. Tick Rogers may rip it down with the steal, and Louisville leads by five. Dick Rogers anticipating that pass. You take a look at the T-shirt that he's got on. He's the only Louisville player on the floor that's wearing a T-shirt underneath his uniform, and he's got the sleeves rolled up. Sort of reminiscent of times in 1950. Of course, I wouldn't remember much about those times. <laughs> Coker. Did you lean back to Coker? Coker's going to be offensive, and they call him for the travel. But Coker made a nice decision. He took a one bounce to take the ball to the middle. Rozier cut him off, and he was going to drop step, reverse pivot, lost his footing, and travel. Would have been a nice move for a player his size. Kaiser's in the game. Eight turnovers for Boise State. Tick Rogers, what a look. Rozier will go to the line, but that is outstanding pass by Tick Rogers. Coker puts it down. Rozier cuts him off, and he's trying to drop step and get himself back into position to go over his right shoulder. But he wound up walking. There's a nice touch pass by Tick Rogers into Rozier, and the foul is actually committed by number 35, J.D. Hulene. Rozier holds at six points. Outstanding player of the Metro Tournament. Eric Bellamy back into the game. Coker will take a seat for Boise State. Rozier out of Bradenton, Florida. Not a good trip, 0 for 2. Louisville, though, leads by 5, 15, 10, 9, 40 to go here in the first half. Shepard inside, blocked by Rozier. Stays right here. Greg Miner back for Louisville, and he takes the place of Dwayne Morton. 
look at one of the few teams that will always play any inbounds pass on the baseline man to man Shepard for three Steve Shepard 15-3 of the season he's got five points Big Sky freshman of the year so smooth, so confident. There was never a doubt in his mind with the space that he had between himself and the defense that he was going to rise up and let that fly. Dick Rogers to Rozier. And we got a kickball. New clock for Louisville. Brian Kaiser is on the floor for Denny Crum, along with Alvin Sims, number five. Dick Rogers, number four. Rozier's up front. And Greg Miner, number 23. Tough man-to-man -man defense again by Boise State. Here's Kaiser. Frees himself. Goes glass. And misses. Big power rebound. Greg Miner. He just knocked down Shambrick Williams for that, too. So Shambrick Williams, in a, an attempt to draw a foul, took a flop. And the bad news is, when the referee does, does not call that play, you really free up the offensive man to take a real nice step to the basket and lay it in. Louisville really picking up the intensity half-court defense. Cardinals lead it by 4 eight, 27 to go first half. You watch Boise State in their motion offense. They do a lot of curling. Too high. That shot changed. Bellamy had it. Missed it. Bellamy in trouble. Had it sent back for a foul before. Into the game number 33, Bo Zach Smith for the Cardinals out of Peoria, Illinois. Fouls on Kaiser. There's a look at Alvin Sims, no relation to yours truly, and he has his own design. We had Joseph Blair in the Arizona game, and check this one out. <laughs> well, that's when you partially go along with the decision that the team's made that everybody saved their head. I don't think so. <laughs> Eric Bellamy out of Beaver, Pennsylvania, and San Jose Community College. Three-point game. Tick Rogers to Brian Kaiser. Boys, in this man-to-man -man defense, if you watch how active their hands are, the hands are always trying to sink the level of the ball. And Bozak Smith steps out of bounds. A freshman turns it over for Louisville. Timeout on the floor, 7.52 to go. Cardinals by a tray. On the bench for Boise State, the Broncos' seven-foot center so far trailing in the center comparison, Larry. Well, he hasn't scored, although he did get one fairly decent look at the basket, but he's got to get the ball and put some pressure on Rozier, make himself a factor offensively. There's an Archibald baseline roadblock. Shoots over it, though. And misses Tick Rogers with the rebound. Boise State, two for 11 on their two-point shot, but three for three from long range. Louisville, seven for 11. For two points and over two from long range. When you watch Boise's defense, the hands mirror the basketball. You want to keep as much pressure on the ball and in the pass lane as you can. Kaiser had the open avenue, took it, and was fouled. Boy, just uh, he faced up and looked, and there it was. Temple getting away from Drexel in the Battle of Philadelphia in the NCAA first round. Georgetown, hmm, and Duke by 13. Marquette a winner. Kentucky breezes. And here earlier this afternoon, Virginia and Arizona were winners, and they'll meet on Sunday. The foul was on Hulene. It was his second. Brian Kaiser out of Irvine, Kentucky. A lot of shooting heads around here. Jason Osborne returns and replaces Kaiser. On that May free throw, Louisville extending the defense, and they can deny out of this press and then jump zone, or they can deny out of the press and stay man-to-man. -man. Shepard in some trouble. Rozier there to meet 
Archie Ball and not a great move there by Rozier with the foul. When the ball in the press gets by your front line, regardless of what press it is, you want your back players to retreat trying to slow up the basketball. You certainly don't want your center coming up on the ball and drawing the foul. Saw that man in a beautiful sweater on the bench, Scooter McCray. The Louisville Bates, Archibald knocked that one down. Damon Archibald shooting 38% on the season. And Boise State back to within three. Damon Archibald really gets a lot done off his pump fake. He's a very good three-point shooter. Louisville respects that. And he's been able to free himself by nice fakes. Osborne goes deep. 34 percenter. He's got eight points tonight. Louisville 22-16 now. 635 to go in the first half. Turnover. Louisville's in business. Wheat to the glass. Can't get it. Rozier had it knocked away. It's Boise State ball. Nice play. Archibald right back. Shembrick Williams. Stoker was looking for it. Offered by Shepard. Can't get it. A lot of activity on that glass. And Rozier wins it. Oh, nice play. <laughs> to one, we give and go. Morton. Morton inside. Rozier keeps it alive. Good movement. Morton, short baseline jumper. 24-16, biggest lead for the Cardinals, four for Dwayne Morton. That was one of the most patient trips that time down the floor that Louisville had, setting screens, moving without the ball, really making boys. He paid a price on defense. Boise State needs an answer, can't let it get on. That'll do. 24-18, first bucket for Coker. Rozier getting himself out of position. John Coker stepped away from the low post, was fronted, the weak side emptied out, and Coker finished off the play with a strong dunk. Morton challenges. Coker got the foul. First foul on John Coker. It's a junior, seven foot two forty-five. See, he gets Rozier on his hips and moves Rozier away from the basket. Does it down low so he's not called for pushing off. And when the law pass came, Rozier realizing he didn't have any defensive help or pressure on the ball, just sort of gave up on the play and allowed Coker to dunk the basketball. All right, Morgan, number twenty-two, back in for Boise State. A look at Dwayne Morton. the outstanding player of last year's Metro Tournament, sports administration major. Plus 15 points per ball game. It's a youngster growing up, said he idolized Jimmy Thurman, player he most wanted to play like. There was a long line. <laughs> that four behind that, uh, I was definitely uh, somewhere in the front of that line. And a long line it was. A lot of contact. They beat the press. Matter of fact, they beat it too good. They threw it away. 26-18, Louisville leading. And Boise State with seven fouls, so Louisville already in the bonus. You know, Dave, when you attack a press, you want to attack it with short, crisp passes. The home run pass might be there, but it's not going to be available when you're playing against a team that has great overall quickness, which is why you want to press anyway. Let's step through, Miner, Osborne, Juan Wheat. Keep it alive. Shepard comes up with it for Boise State. A lot of players on both teams defensively going for the up fake. Quick shot by Shepard Williams. Break out by Osborne. Miner back to Osborne. And get it to Rozier in the nice spin move inside the flip. It'll shoot a couple at the line. That's the Robert Parrish spin move. That is a beauty. <laughs> a page. A page out of Robert Parrish's book. Rozier sits down in the low post, gives the target to the baseline. Now watch him take the look middle, drop step, reverse pivot. You teach that every day with your big men, proper footwork, look one way, drop step, reverse the other. Rozier struggling at the line. Just 55%. That's easily the weakest point in this game. He averages 19 points, 11 boards. But only 55% from the line. 
He's one for four here in this game. And that gives Louisville a nine-point lead. Coming up on four minutes to go, first half. Dave Sims and Larry Farmer, good to have you with us from the Arco Arena in Sacramento, California. As we watch Louisville with its biggest lead here in the first half. Give and go, Walker's inside, can't get it quicker. Finishes it off. That's what I talked about when you have a shot blocker who is constantly leaving his man to go over to challenge or change a shot. You free up the man that you're guarding. You should see that happen quite often between the two big men, Coker and Rozier. Rozier in tight, in tight. Will they score it? No, they wave it off. They get him in the turn. 3.43 to go. Rozier turns it away. Blows an opportunity, but a nice play right here. Coker with the follow. Louisville by seven. Minnesota against Southern Illinois. Right now, Louisville with a seven-point advantage. 3.43 to go. Dave Sims and Larry Farmer with you here in the West Region. And a turnover by Boise State. That is turnover number 11 for the Broncos. The Louisville press intimidating Boise State right now. Dick Rogers back in the game number four on that high post offense. Minor in trouble. Osborne. And they kick it to Morton. The ball movement. And in the high post, if you don't have it, you reset and you go again. Osborne in trouble. And they go for the travel. Good defense by Boise State. Louisville's made a home with this press. They're running it after made free throws and after made baskets. And now they're putting it on all the time to see if they can really get Boise rattled here. Not surprising since Louisville averages close to 82 points a game, so they want to pick this tempo up. They're not on target for that number right now. Pick Rogers left and it does. How about a block by Osborne? Rogers was there, runs it down. Nicely done. Look what I found. Boy, he was eating some floor there after trying to make the steal. And now he's produced a nine-point lead, biggest of the evening. Dick Rogers really fortunate. He gambled on that pass and was thoroughly beaten. His teammate bailed him out by making a very good defensive play and then kicking the ball to him down the floor. But that's part of team defense, is rotating, taking away those driving passing lanes. Knocked away by Osborne. Shot clock at 14. Danny Crum working the officials. He had his man knocked down on the post. And playing some post defense and thought it should have been a call. Williams, foul. No bucket, but he'll shoot two. There's a block after Tick Rogers had gambled and gotten beaten. Runs the ball down and just softly lays the ball off the backboard. You know, when you're moving quickly or out of control, that backboard can be your best friend, your biggest ally. First foul on Greg Miner. Archibald and Coker take a seat. Bellamy's in along with J.D. Huleen for the Broncos. Jimbrick Williams misses that one. He was only the MVP in the Big Sky Tournament. 27 points in the championship game against Idaho State, an 85-81 victory. And shot 21 to 25 from the free throw line in the tournament. That'll very, work. Yeah, very good free throw, clutch free throw. Eight point Louisville lead, approaching two minutes to go. First half action. Boise he going back to that matchup zone defense? Rozier left alone. And he missed Boise State. Good luck, too. Nine points for Clifford Rozier. J.D. Lee was the middleman that time in that zone defense. And when Rozier got the ball inside, he pumped fake, but just from a size factor, really didn't have to. The lead killed his dribble and almost traveled. You heard the Louisville contingent <laughs> playing strike shirt. Steve Shepard inside. Good defense. Tick Rogers gets that one. Louisville breaks out. Minute 30 
32 to go, first half, and a 10-point lead for the Louisville Cardinals, third seed here in Sacramento, taking on the 14th seed, the Broncos of Boise State. And this press, Larry Farmer is doing a pretty good job. It is, and, and Coach Crum is mixing up his looks. He's gone zone press, he's gone man with a little run and jump or double team. To lean baseline, bother, hit, no. Louisville ball, Miner's got it. They push it up to Osborne, Osborne. Morton into the paint, finds Dick Rogers. Great ball movement by the Cardinals. Sacramento. Little Bull now will set up and run something out of their high post set. They like to isolate out of this and look to go inside. Five seconds to go. Osborne not real confident with that left hand dribble. Rogers is there. Rogers scores at the buzzer. Very fortunate at that time. The ball did not draw iron, so the shot clock continued to run. But Louisville was able to beat the shot clock and get, get the ball up and in. Shambrick Williams for Boise State. Dick Rogers bidding for a steal. Hugh Lean for three. Back rims, and Osborne brings it down. Cardinals will have 15 and counting get this final shot. They lead by 12. Inside of 10, they got to go here. Morton operating. Baseline hangs. Good play. Bellamy with the block, and that will do it. 20 minutes complete here at Arco Arena. And the Cardinals of Louisville have a 33-21 lead. At the end of the first half, Louisville on top. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the NBA Basketball Championship will continue after these messages. Sides. He's given a good target. He's made some excellent drop step moves to the basket, and he's been very aggressive at attacking it. Nine points, four rebounds, and Rozier shooting four for four. And he's been getting some terrific looks inside, in close. Well, you know, you've got to do that. That is your strength. And when you can shape up, call for the ball, catch it, and then be aggressive, you really put the defense at a disadvantage. When you look at where he's been getting the ball and finishing, that's where you want to see your big player attack the basket. And he's been complimented nicely by Jason Osborne who shot three for four for eight points along with five rebounds for Louisville. Halftime numbers, field goal percentage, the Cardinals with a big edge there. The Cardinals pretty much on target, shooting 49% for the season. Boise State well below their 48% free throws. Big advantage for the Louisville Cardinals. More opportunities, too. Points in the paint, big number here. And again, that's reminiscent of what you want to do when you post up. You've got your big players. And you get it where you get the easiest shots. And for Louisville, that's pounding the ball inside. The winner of this game will advance to take on the winner of our next game, which is Minnesota against the Salukis of Southern Illinois. Boise State will start things off here in the second half. And a minute pressure defense by the Cardinals. And their defensive intensity will will vary from time to time. It can be very aggressive. Poker, father, and he misses. Osborne breaks out. Although Coker missed that shot, that's not a bad one for him to take. He's got to be more assertive on the inside and really start to put some pressure on the interior global defense. Rosier's only got one foul, and he's got to make himself a factor, Coker does, in attacking the basket from the inside out. One week. Here's Dwayne Morton. Deep three from the corner. Nine points for Dwayne Morton, a 38% three-point shooter. Leads at 15, biggest lead of the evening for Louisville. Shepard inside, oh! beat the block attack, it's kept alive, he's gonna get it. We'll stay right here. The starters begin the second half for Louisville. Minor, Wheat, Rozier, Osborne, and Morton. Another score is coming in, Temple, the Battle of Philadelphia. Running away, Georgetown down a deuce. Coker flips, can't make it. Duke going out, takes his seven. What a play. Morton was out that he knew he <laughs> came back. <laughs> he started to smile before he even caught the ball because he knew that his last planted foot was outside. 
Scooter McCray on Denny Crumb's left. Steve Shepard. Shambrick Williams with the ball right here. Going baseline. Nice shot by Shambrick Williams. Shambrick's got six points. 13 point Louisville lead. Time going to a double low post offense, showing a different look. Post up Osborne, the fade is an air ball. And Rozier almost had an easy one, but he was fouled. Sometimes when you're a big guy and you see that loose ball and you realize that you've got an easy opportunity, you start to hurry instead of just getting the ball quickly and scoring. And as a result, was your focus away? An easy opportunity to score. Back door, well done. Morton scores for Louisville. It's 38-23. Cardinals, 11 for Morton. When you extend your defense out and you really get out and you pressure and you try and deny leads, you always have to be aware of the back door. Good offensive players will take you to the level of the basketball. If you deny, they'll plant and reverse and make the basket cut. Shepard's got it. Trying to post up with Coker. They get it to Coker. Now he's inside. The flip is good. John Coker. Averaging close to 18 points a game. He's got six. Coker that time really did turn and face the basket. Sort of went up and shot a corkscrew, but he's got a nice touch and was able to turn and take and make that very difficult shot. powers of persuasion, what his reasoning was not to go with the flow with the rest of the Cardinals who shaved their heads since we saw them yesterday at practice. He must be a very strong-minded individual. Bad shot, Rozier. Rozier missed it again. Keeps it alive. Look at this. Stay right here, Louisville ball. Duane, we might have just missed that meeting. Because there's Coker, he turns and really doesn't get turned around and square to the basket. I think in an effort to get the shot up quickly, he just turned and shot that court. But again, when you have that shooter's touch, as he does, he was able to make that tough shot. I'll tell you what, Rozier influenced that shot, didn't even get a piece of it. I think that's why he got rid of it so quickly. Rozier got it deep. Works his way free. Shot an air ball. Boise State breaks out. Broncos down by 13. Shepard has it taken away. Osborne, big time play. Morton Collard for it. Behind. Oh, what a pass. One week. Wade did a good job trailing on that. His first basket. Ron Wheat with the little, I'm going to leave this basketball here as I go in. I'm going to set it right in front of you, behind the back. Not the most fundamentally sound of plays, but it certainly brought the crowd to life. Up top. Brendan Dog Poker kept it alive. Shembrick Williams. Williams misses, and it's run down an easy one for Rozier. Lighter in a hurry. Finds Osborne underneath. The duck under. Well done. 25 Louisville starting to assert itself big time here. He's got 10 points. Dave, did you see that little move that Jason Osborne did right at the last second? He saw Coker coming in to try and block the shot, and he used the rim to protect the ball and just sort of slid it over to the right side and softly shot it over the rim for two points. Maverick Williams. They try to get it to Coker. Too much on it for Damon Archibald. 42-25, Louisville leads. What a pass here by Osborne. The coverage of the first round of the NCAA Basketball Championship is sponsored by Oldsmobile, GTE, and by Miller Lite. Sparkling look at the Sacramento River. As Louisville has opened up a 17-point lead over Boise State. Second half action. One more game to go here tonight at Arco Arena. It will be Minnesota against Southern Illinois. Dave Sims and Larry Farmer with you. 
And right now the Cardinals feeling real good. The pull there by Miner, weak there, put it away. 19 point advantage. Those point guards really enjoy that. Any chance they get to get in and take an offensive rebound in there with all the big trees, the tall players, and convert an easy two points on a putback. Quick shot, Shambrick Williams. Rozier wins this battle. And then your big guy steps back, and he brings the ball up the floor. That's what you call a roll reversal there. Dick Rogers in. Ron Weed, a little short on that three. Shepard rebound to Boise State. Your Boise State down by 19. There's got to be a couple of things you better get done quickly, right, Larry? Well, you got to get it done, first of all, on the defensive end. Get back and not give up easy baskets in transition or second shots on the offensive board. Good pass inside. Rozier spinning, wheeling, scoring. He's going to attack the basket. Again, the inside look, drop step baseline. That seems to be his move of preference, and he gets the nice roll. Good entry pass by Osborne to start things off. Hulim and Walker come in replacing Bellamy and Coker for Boise State. The lead is now 21 for Louisville. 14 to go. Louisville's starting front line has outscored the Boise State team 32-25 and adds to that 33. Bobby Bell for some kind of some kind of combination to click to get him back in the ballgame. They do a very good job in their motion of reading the defense and cutting. That miss, follow, miss. Shambrick Williams, third shot. Eight points for Shambrick Williams. Jason Ellisborn and J.D. Uline getting tied up there, trying to fight for offensive and defensive rebounding position. Got a mismatch inside. He lean against Rozier. They find him. Here's Rozier. Beats the double team. Can't score. And he lean comes away with it. And Rozier turning around and really giving Damon Archibald, if it looks to kill. <laughs> and if he had missed, we were right in line. He was quite upset, Rozier. He thought he was held by David Archibald. There you see the, the battling on the inside for the loose ball. Archibald and Rozier get tied up. Just glaring at one another. Cool heads. Show some maturity. Hulene. Back to Shepard. He goes for three. Long rebound. And coming up with it is Matt Simons who's coming to the game for the Cardinals. Cross court to Osborne. Kind of had it right there. He would have been home free. Archibald back to Shepard. Chick Rogers there. Nice play. Takes it away. There's Matt Simons. He's right inside. Really, just not ready to catch that basketball. You know, when you come in and you're cold, you've got to have yourself ready to play. You sit there on the bench, and all players that are sitting on the bench want to be in and get a part of the action, but you must be ready to catch and receive the ball. Osborne to Tick Rogers. Nice Weak pass. inside. Little guy with the left hand. 22-point Louisville lead. Nice extra pass, interior passing by Louisville. Shepard's in cleanly and makes it. Just beat Jason Osborne, seven points for the freshman Steve Shepard. The Louisville defense will switch a lot of things. And the problem that you get into when you do that is you still have to communicate. Even though those switches are going to be automatic, you still must tell a teammate, switch. That time there was some confusion. Two players went outside, which left an offensive player open underneath the basket for Boise State. Louisville moving the ball around the perimeter. 
doing it with some dispatch to 1133 and counting four seconds shot clock minor got the rim see Rogers bails him out another opportunity so we'll go to reset now. This is where you can find a defensive breakdown. You run the clock down to two seconds, you get a shot, offensive rebound, you put Boise State right back in a position to play defense again. Miner finds Osborne. And he got hit on the way up. And Gene Manji has a foul, but he's overruled. And it's called a traveling violation. But Louisville in command by 20. That's what I did on my vacation in Sacramento. I got a haircut. <laughs> yeah, it starts to grow out, boy. That's going to itch like crazy. All mothers claim your sons if you can, if he's haircut. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be difficult to distinguish who's who when you look at the back of those heads. The back door, Shepard is there, Walker, and he beats the challenge and a foul. Matt Simons with the foul. Our story here at Arthur Arena. Clifford Rozier dominating inside and front court points. Big edge to the Louisville Cardinals. And they also are getting their way with the shots, shooting a good percentage, 45%. Cardinals shooting 49% coming into the game. Up the top. Simons with the rebound. Walker denied on the attempt for three-point play. Louisville running a four-out and one-in motion. Now they'll set up and run the high-post offense. Brian Kaiser, numbers three, four, and five, and here's Tick Rogers as it knocks away. Boise State ball. Brian Kaiser, Tick Rogers, Alvin Sims, Matt Simons, and Dwayne Morton for the Cardinals. For Boise State, Damon Archibald. J.D. Hugh Lee, number 35. Shambrick Williams, number 42. Bernard Walker, number 22. And Steve Shepard, number 21. Good play to knock it out of bounds. Nine to lead, very alert. Not to sacrifice position to go after the steal. Boise State champions of the Big Sky Conference Tournament. 14th seed going against the Louisville Cardinals, the third seed. Up top is Hulene for three. J.D. Hulene. Second three of the evening. Hulene very confident, realizing where he was on the floor. He was on the three-point line, stepped back to clear himself, and then buried that three-point shot. Boise State on a 7-0 run. And a foul. Check that. He stepped out of bounds. So Louisville turns it over. Danny Crumbs Club up by 15. Louisville's biggest lead tonight, 22 points. Spread the floor up your boys and pass it. Good screens. Make this a good possession. This is the kind of possession at this point in the game that can really fire the Boise State team up and really get them back in this game mentally. Walker shoots over. Simons misses badly. Simons for 6 11. But Boise State gets another opportunity. Clifford Rozier will come back in for Louisville. Back to Jason Osborne, number 25. He'll come in. Brian Kaiser will take a seat. And that's something that should have a calming effect on Clifford Rozier. He left the game, and he was pretty angry at Archibald. But you set that long, nice play on the inside. And it happened right against Clifford Rozier. The run is at 9-0 for Boise State. Louisville's turned it over its last three possessions. They need a bucket here. Walker got a foul. And it's against Louisville. It's against Osborne. 
The crowd, of course, traditionally in the first round NCAA rooting for the underdog. And, and they will always come to life and, and really appreciate good play. There you see the hustle after the loose ball. Osborne gets frustrated because the ball was dislodged by Bernard Walker. Reaches in and grabs and holds. Easy foul to call in the open court. First foul on Jason Osborne. 8.52 and counting left in the ball game. And Boise has a window of opportunity. Three-pointer in route. Archibald tries again. Long. Walker. Oh, look at that. Throws oh. that off of Osborne. What a play. That's got to hurt, too. That's a heck of a fastball by Bernard Walker. There's a loose ball. This good hustle by Bernard Walker, and he just drills it. It looks like that old schoolyard game that we used to play. <laughs> and I'm dodgeball. I'm thankful Jason Osborne has quick reflexes, so it only hit him on the thigh. <laughs> Heads up play. Boise State really hustling right now. This is an emotional part of the game where if they can get over the hump, get a basket here and get back, this will really pick up their defense. They lean to Archibald. Inside, Shepard Williams. Plenty of time in the shot clock at 15. He's got a mismatch against Juan Lee. Walker baseline. Shepard Williams is that line. Rozier got that one. Morton, one against three. Bounced it off his foot. Williams on the floor. Back behind. Walker! Oh! And Boise State making a run. They were down by 22. The lead is now 11 for the Cardinals of Louisville. Morton can't get it. Rozier, no. Loose ball. Minor. Minor scores, and he ends a run. An 11-0 run by Boise State. The Louisville players screaming at each other to get on the board and get back and play defense. Feel that tide starting to waver right now. But that was a big basket by Louisville. They needed that basket to stem the flow. Shepard badly missed on the three. Cardinals a little bit more focused now. Rozier wanted the alley-oop from Wheaton, didn't get it. Hulene with the save. Boise State takes over. Good hands by Archibald on Greg Miner. Keeping his hands active, slapping up. You play defense from the feet up, but if you have a chance to swat that ball, swat at it without sacrificing position or fouling, you do it. Foul against the Cardinals. Six forty-nine to go. Boise State making a run. What a pass by Archibald. Pass on the fast break. You get a lead. You want to hit a man chest high. David Archibald with the behind-the-back pass. Hits Bernard Walker beautifully, and all Walker has to do is lay it up. What a pass by Damian Archibald. Archibald can show that one to the grandkids. That was a beauty. Fifty-one thirty-eight. Walker missed the three, kept alive. Rozier's got it. Rozier had a man change of pace by Rozier. Oh, 6 11 guys not supposed to do that. Let me reach into my open court bag of tricks and show you how I could fake and fade and hesitate off the dribble and lay it in. That is not supposed to happen. <laughs> 6'9, 235 in the open floor. Lead to 15. He lead three. And he put it right in Rozier's face. Boys Walker. State going small, and when you do that, you really put a lot of pressure on Louisville's big man to move away from the basket and get out and play against the quickness. Minor to Tick Rogers down deep. We. Somebody's open because he had three men around him. Minor, they find Osborne. Quarter jump. Good. Good answer for Lowell. 13 for Osborne. Greg Minor setting that up again with the nice up fake defensively. You should keep your feet till the man you're guarding leaves his feet. In the 
in the open court. Rozier with the steal. Full head, shoulder, fakes the pass, puts it on the floor in the end. Drives, drives around Archibald and lays it in. Nice move by Big Man. Think he's used that in the hood back in the old days? <laughs> yeah, you get the top of your Big Man. We have to see him try to do that again. And a foul against Rosa. They get Tick Rogers. Sophomore out of Munfordville, Kentucky. Illinois trying to pull away from Georgetown. A lot of time left. Big game there. Ohio and Indiana. Shambrick Williams gets a gimme there. He's got 12 points. Shambrick Williams being guarded by Clifford Rozier. Clifford Rozier anticipating that Louisville was going to get that rebound and fast break. Started down the floor, but he was still on defense. Leaving Shambrick Williams open for the easy shot. Hulene and Rozier in the post. Rozier with the big advantage. Dick Rogers. Rozier. 6-9-235. Weak. Kicks it to Miner. Osborne with three on the shot clock. Weak now realizes has a shot. Fabulous play by Bernard Walker. Very good defensive trip that time by Boise State. Although they did go for a couple of hand fakes, they were able to rotate the defense over. Global Guilty is probably making one extra pass too many. Knocked out of bounds by Miner. 4.15 to go. It's been a fast second half, wouldn't you agree? It, it really has. It, it, the pace has picked up. Louisville really hasn't used the press that they used in the first half. Not a lot of fouling. Both teams looking to get it up quickly and take advantage. Williams had the shot. Hulene's got three. Make it four. Four three-pointers. 12 points for J.D. Hulene. He came in with just four on the season. And it's a 10-point game. Timeout, Louisville. The lead of 22 is down to 10, thanks to J.D. Hulene. Is Pinnock? He's a service manager at Saturn Shreveport. Here you see Clifford Rozier. Now, his man, J.D. Hulene, is out here. He's watching the ball. Now, as soon as that ball is passed over, he's slowing out that leaves J.D. Hulene a clean look at the basket, and he knocks down that three-point shot. Hulene, four for five from three-point range for Boise State. Rozier, triple team, taken away. Shambrick Williams with the steal. They can get it inside at 10. Hulene's the guy they want. There he is, wide open in the air. Oh, it went down and came out. It's fake by Archibald. His bid for three. Since then, it's been 22 to 7, Boise State. And Boise State has certainly made some big shots to make this run offensively, but they've really gotten the job done defensively. In order to get back in a ball game, you must get stops and rebounds. And they have done that in Venza. Osborne outside. Osborne dumps to Rozier. Spins, wheels, and four. Rozier. It's that type of play that should get Rozier more animated and more active defensively to get him out closer to make sure they cover those three-point shooters. Archibald three long. Rebound. Kept alive. Who's got it? Wheat for Louisville. 58-49. Dwan Wheat. Tick Rogers. Long delivery. Three no good. And Miner comes down with the carom. They go to Osborne. He goes for three. Way long. Rozier's there. Rozier baseline. Fumbled. Has it taken away. Score! And ugly play. <laughs> Clifford Rozier with his 18th point. Didn't look so comfortable that time dribbling in traffic to Clifford Rozier, but he was able to get the ball closer to the back. Williams with the three. Boise State hanging in. 15 for Shambrick Williams. 
Boise State, the 14th seed here in the West Region. Louisville, the third seed. It's all about playing defense now, getting a stop. The lead was 22, it's now eight for the Cardinals. And the concern written all over Denny Crumb's face. Inside, Rozier, double team, knocked away, put it on the floor, made a mistake. One of the little guys, it was Walker, number 22, got a piece of it. And here come the Broncos, down eight, a buck, 12 left in the game. Archibald, the runner, left hand, hit! And it's rebounded by Osborne. Archibald, number four, he's got four fouls. Inside of final minute to go, Louisville holding an eight-point lead, and a foul is on Archibald, and he's done. What a tough game at both ends. Damon Archibald has played. His father, Lynn, who is an assistant coach at Arizona State University, has got to be extremely proud of his son. Five points, six assists for the sophomore from Tempe, Arizona. Kept things going nicely on the floor for Boise State. Had the pass of the night, the behind the back pass on a break that was on the money. And the big guy, John Coker, back in for Boise State. Final minute of play, Cardinals eight-point lead. Steal by Shepard. Julene has shot well from three-point range. Shepard Williams on the line, they're gonna cut it! by Shambrick Williams. Watch him get his feet behind the line and stop it there. Notice he's very fortunate his shoe size is not 14. He was given that three-point basket because he just barely got the feet behind the line. Gene Manje with a five call. The referee on that particular play. Foul right here. Boise State. Nine for 23 from three-point range. 39%. They came in 30% from long range. And the story right now, Louisville with the ball and the possession arrow. Miners foul. That is now the 16th foul. And when you go after those balls, you know you've got a couple of fouls to give. That can work in your advantage or it can work in your disadvantage. You don't want a lot of time to tick off the clock, but go after the ball in the event that you can get a piece of it and the referee not call a foul. 16 foul, there's number seven. 35.8 on the clock. Boise State. Crowd silent. Louisville loves itself to sleep. Made up by 22. Next thing you know, a couple of turnovers, some wasted trips for Louisville, some three-point answers at the other end, and Boise State very much in this ballgame. Well, you could just sense it coming. Boise State had expended a lot of energy, but they showed a lot of emotion on defense, and that can always carry over to what happens offensively. Greg Miner at the line, 74 for center. Nails the first. He's got five points and six rebounds. Good night for Greg in the assist category. First team all Metro. He's got six assists. Good trip for Louisville and Greg Miner. The lead is seven. Louisville goes to a press now. This is to slow the ball down. They don't want to foul in this, but this takes Boise out of a rhythm where they get it up quickly and get a chance to score. And they do. Out they go. It's going well for Boise State. 20 points for Shambrick Williams. The foul on Rozier. We've got a five-point ball game again. 28.6 seconds to go. Second foul on Rozier. Shepard Williams driving baseline. Rozier gets there late. Anytime you get beat defensively, you got to yell for help. Greg Miner did not call soon enough. Big night for Shambrick Williams. He's got out of San Francisco. Acceptably quick first step. Transferred into College of East Utah. Three-point play. 
28.6 to go. Bobby Dye has had a lot of answers. Does he have any more? Detroit Louisville lead. Bobby Dye and the Broncos have worked some magic tonight, Larry. And right now, Boise State is going to deny the inbounds pass. They've got a center fielder to take away all long passes. I would assume that if Woodville got the ball inbound, they're going to foul right away. Give it to Miner. He's fouled immediately by Bernard Walker. And that only took about a second off the clock. You know, yesterday when I had a chance to visit with, with Coach Dye, he made an interesting point. You know, he said last year against Vanderbilt, we didn't play well. We really got it taken to us. He said, you know, this year, all I want our kids to do, Larry, is go out and be competitive. Get in the ball game and play. Don't leave anything on the floor. At the end of the ball game, we go back in the locker room. But go out and really have fun and make this something that you'll never forget. Boise State lost to Vandy last year by 20. 92-72 and minor. Miner's got seven points. And having a good evening at the line. He's three for three. Misses that one. Poker had it, lost it. Rozier's got it. And a foul on the play. Poker had his hands on the ball. His club down by four. And that's just what you wanted. You wanted to see that. If you're Boise State, you wanted to see them miss that shot. Puts a body on Rozier, but Rozier slides behind Coker, has the ball in his hands, and he just loses the handle on it. Didn't tuck it away firmly, and the ball goes back over the wall. A break for Boise State in that Rozier is only 55% at the line. Rozier, two, four, six now at the line. Miner's got it, and he's fouled by Shepard. And Dave, that's the backbreaker. You get the, the, the guy up at the free throw line that, that you know, your, your scouting report tells you to get up there. He's a 55% free throw shooter. He misses badly on the first one. You don't box out properly, and you give Louisville an opportunity to score again at the free throw line. Miner now four for five at the line. He's got eight points to go with seven rebounds. You see Louisville extend their defense again, and this is, again, this is not to create a turnover, but just to slow boys up so they don't have a chance to push the ball up the court quickly and get an easy one. But you must keep the ball in front. Precious two seconds left. Two ladies had a marvelous night. They guard him at three. Shambrick Williams lets her rip. This is badly, and that ought to do it. A breakout by Osborne. He'll tear it down. Hello. Virginia. Chevrolet MVP 